I'm Geordie Brookman and I'm the Artistic Director of State Theatre Company of South Australia. The events is a really extraordinary play from the Scottish playwright David Grieg, uh, premiered in 2013 in Scotland and has since played throughout Europe and the US and pertinently played in Norway a few years ago. And it's it, David's reaction to the Andreas Breivik massacre. I was aware of the piece and then I, it was basically a phone call from both first from Eamon Flack at Belvoir and also Matt Lutton from Malthouse to say we're thinking about doing this piece, we think it would be something that would be great to collaborate on together. And then it just all suddenly started to fall together very, very quickly. And I suppose when you're programming something you're always looking for other great companies to work with but you're also looking for a great combination between artist and material. And as soon as Matt mentioned that they were talking to Catherine McClements to play the role of Claire. Uh, it made sense to me, you know. It's a role that you'd swear was written for her. And the kind of combination of the play, Catherine, the director, Claire Watson, and then when we made the decision to get Jeff Cobham on board, it became very, very easy. One of the unique things about this piece is, you know, it's, it's a three company co-production. It's playing two festivals, the Sydney Festival and the Adelaide Festival. So you've got a different choir every night in three different cities. And so not only are you needing to find new community choirs in every city that it lands in, but a, essentially a new choral director. And we've been very lucky that Carol Young's come on board in Adelaide to guide our choirs and she'll be kind of the, the point of consistency through the Adelaide season as these, you know, no doubt very excited but terrified choristers come in to be part of the show. My name's Carol Young and I am a freelance musician. State Theatre are doing a production of the events and for that production I'm going to be the on-stage accompanist and also I'm coordinating all the community choirs which are taking part in that production as well which makes it really interesting and, and very different. So it's a real opportunity for lots of choirs to get involved. There are 11 performances and I think we have nine different choirs. There, there are a lot of choirs who are at an extraordinary kind of level, um, a very professional level and there's a lot of community choirs which are open access and um, everyone can join and just, you know, have companionship and have music in their life. Yeah, it's really the, the choir scene in Adelaide is quite big. We do notice at my choir rehearsals on a Sunday morning, you do notice that when you leave, you're in a much better frame of mind than when you came in. You know, you could be all bound or whatever, and after the class or after the rehearsal, it's all gone. You just, it releases those, in singing especially, releases those endorphins and gets you back to the normal. The standard of the choirs that we've got, it's pretty varied. Um, the choirs themselves don't actually know what's going to unfold on stage. So uh, what people will see from, from the choirs is pure reaction. So I think to witness that is going to be really exciting and yeah, that's going to make it a very unique kind of project. I guess I'd hope that a company's greatest achievement is always ahead of it. There's many great achievements along the way. Uh, the company at one stage had one of the country's great acting ensembles in Lighthouse. It's developed some of the country's leading artists, including Geoffrey Rush, Judy Davis, Mel Gibson, Neil Armfield, you know, the list goes on. Probably its greatest achievement though, really, is in providing a kind of cultural touchstone for the people of South Australia. We should be kind of breaking the waves, we should be out there in front breaking the water, developing the form, taking risks that other people can't afford to, um, working on a scale that smaller companies may not be able to, and also providing um, access and housing for artists of all disciplines.